Good morning, all you happy people. Welcome to Weight Watchers Weigh In Wednesday. So how did I do today? Did I gain, lose, or maintain? Well, I must say, going into today's uh, weigh in, I anticipated a gain. Um, and actually, I'm very thankful that it was very, very minimal. So I just had 0.4 gain today, and um, two things that I think that might reflect. One, I haven't been able to walk as much, and two, the lymphedema, the fluid retention in my legs. So I think both of those things come into play. Um, how did I do point-wise this last week? Well, I stayed within my points. I actually left, I think, five to seven points of my weeklies on the table. I didn't use them. So point-wise, I did very well. Um, so I'm pretty happy with my week. Um, I don't know that there's anything I could have done differently. Um, so I'm happy. Um, hopefully next week I'll have a loss, <laughs> but uh, I'm not dissatisfied. Uh, you know, I was chatting with a fellow Weight Watcher member after class today, and uh, she and I were just kind of talking about how the emphasis with Weight Watchers these days is more so on wellness versus weight loss. Of course, the two go hand in hand, but to focus less on um, the number on the scale, which brings me to today's weekly. Um, so let me just uh, go over what we talked about. So think outside the scale. So it says, yes, seeing the number on the scale go down feels good. Yes, it does. <laughs> but it's not the only way to judge success. Paying attention to wins that have nothing to do with the scale reinforces healthy habits and helps you recognize the progress you've made. Whether or not the scale do goes the way you hope this week, ref whether or not the scale goes the way you hope this week, reflect on your non-scale victories, the NSVs. Uh, it'll help you to stay inspired. So I would say NSV wise for me um, this week, I would say I'm happy that I stayed within my points like I usually do. Um, and you know, that I'm fitting my size 12s. That's a huge NSV, uh, NSV for me, down from a 2X. So yeah, you have to focus on those little kind of life changes and not be so tied to the scale. So I told myself going into today's weigh-in that, okay, we are not going to be down if that number is not a loss. We are not. <laughs> We're going to focus on the program, work in the plan, because we know the plan works. So that's exactly what I have done. So let's say, uh, let's Focus on the positive changes you've made recently that aren't tied to the scale. Number one, identify non-scale victories. Pinpoint three, healthy habits you've adopted, experiences you've had, or changes you've seen in your body that have nothing to do with the scale over this last month. Number two, consider the impact. Think about the effect of these changes. Maybe new dinner recipes helped you discover more veggies you love and upped your confidence in the kitchen. So definitely um, getting the two instant uh, pot pressure cookers that I have, have definitely uh, revived my love of cooking. <laughs> and uh, we've had some healthy recipes. Actually, uh, one of the members was talking about an apple chicken recipe, and I think it called for a Dijon mustard. I wanna look that up, it's a Weight Watcher recipe. Um, that sounds really good. Actually, we have some apples. I might do that for dinner. <laughs> And number three, enjoy your successes. Notice how it feels to celebrate NSVs. Is it different from when you're, fo when you're focused on weight? Try jotting down your NSVs in a journal before each weigh-in. So that's a good idea. Um, I have a weight loss journal that I have kept um, since I joined in December 2018. And there I kind of jot down my challenges, my successes, and all of that, and it definitely helps me to process the journey. So, yep, the scale at home this morning said 186.0, so up 0.4. Um, in my mind, I'm 185 something, <laughs> in my mind, um, because I, I think it's a bogus game this week, but 
Yep, I will just keep walking the straight and narrow. I do plan to do more walking through the coming week. Last week was just a very busy week um, with doctor's appointments uh, for my dad and myself. Um, and then Monday, I had to take my dad to the doctor as well, so I didn't get to walk then, uh, just for a follow-up checkup, and then we went to lunch, etc. But, yep, just a lot going on, you know, life, <laughs> life stuff. But overall, I am thrilled with my progress. Um, you know, when my older son was over yesterday hanging those ceiling fans, I was talking about the weight loss, and he's like, Mom, you're doing really well. I'm like, oh, thanks. And I said, and that's what Dad always tells me. <laughs> but sometimes, you know, we put this undue pressure on ourselves, but uh, I'm trying to relieve uh, some of that pressure not take my foot off the pedal, but relieve some of that pressure that, you know what, you're headed in the right direction. It's okay. Every week, realistically, cannot be a loss. Realistically. But very happy um, so far on my journey. Comment below. Let me know how you guys are doing. I hope you're doing well and getting in some exercise and adopting more healthy habits. Um, that will go the distance that you can sustain because that's what it's all about. It's not about a diet that you do for a little while and then go back to your previous way of eating because that's just going to put the weight back on and we don't want that. We've worked too hard to get to where we are. So I hope you guys are uh, making healthy choices and I will talk to you soon. God bless and have a wonderful day.